This is a re-upload of a video about Vim macro theory. More about that and general channel life updates at the end. But if you don't care, here's the idea. So usually you're doing like a huge macro in Vim, right? 99% of the time it's like an ordeal where you spend two or three minutes and you're kind of like converting an entire CSV file to TypeScript objects or whatever. You have your own workflow, but it's kind of like a big thing, you know? And then you do it and you run it like a hundred times and it's awesome. But I was thinking there's another kind of use case potential for macros, which is using auto commands to insert them as you enter like language specific buffers. So let me just give a couple examples because that's kind of abstract thing to imagine. So let's say we're in a Svelte file. Good example, because I use it. So let's say we have a div. Here's, here's something. And I want to put some styles on it using Tailwind. Let's say I want to make this a flex box. I could go up here and then insert and then type class and then equals, not too slow, but I have a macro just at S for style, just auto saved in that register. Boom, right there, I'm in insert mode. So that's sweet. Another thing is, let's say I do that again, and I have this as a flex, flex row, but I wanna make this a format string. If you don't know like what that really means or why, it's kind of relevant, but it's, uh, it's a thing in web development where you dynamically add styles. So to make that a format string, I have this at F macro. You can see it just kind of surrounds. And so there's this Vim um, surround plugin, which a lot of people have recommended. And I think that's awesome. That's a huge ergonomic improvement, but I'm generally of the philosophy, keep Vim vanilla when possible, just because of SSH, basically. You wanna be able to use vanilla Vim. That's, that's pretty much all it. And people will say to me, do you have like a Vim config that's separate from NeoVim config? And no. So it, it, it is kind of like a, I don't know if that's the best argument because I'm pretty uncomfortable using stock Vim after NeoVim, but it's not the worst. Like I don't have telescope or oil, but I, I have like the edit command and I can, I can do okay. And I just feel like at the root level using base plugins or like kind of messing with Vim's base functionality is like a little, it's a little sketchy to me, but that's just my opinion. Here's one more example too. So we're like in a script tag, right? Like that. And you wanna generate a random number, not the easiest thing to type out in TypeScript. So I have a thing where I can type a number and then add R for random, and then it'll insert that. It adds an extra parenthesis right now. I just typed these up really quick as examples because I'm not, I'm not totally sure I'm like the workflow yet. But here's how you do it if you want to see in the in the config. Uh, so I have it stored in macros slash svelte. Someone pointed out in the comments to the old version of this video too um, that you should use auto command groups so they don't get confused. That's a great idea. I don't have that here directly, but um, just read the docs. It's not that hard. And then another thing a lot of people pointed out is why not just use map? And that's not a terrible idea, honestly. Um, I think one thing is like, it's just nice to have these in registers where it's like editable and predictable. Um, and you can kind of look at what they do and it's nice and semantic and you can do that with map too. It's just like, this is, I feel like a little less intrusive, but I, I'll look into that more. So yeah, that's that's the gist of it. This is a re-upload because the old video had terrible audio because I was recording at a train station, which um, people were saying, and I was like, I don't really care, but one guy, he convinced me. He gave me all these reasons about why it was like important to have good audio. So thanks for that guy. If there's one thing to be said about Vimothy Chalamet, it's he listens to his audience. And also like, I'm a very impatient person naturally. As soon as I have any kind of success, I just want to get more and more and more. No, no need to rush out every Vim tip I know. Plus I'm still discovering new ones all the time. So that's pretty much uh, the gist of it. I'm still traveling around. Right now I'm in um, Corinth in Greece on archaeological dig. We haven't started any work yet, but we're we're just hanging out, swimming around, stuff like that. Um, I have a bigger life summer update coming soon if you're interested in me personally, but um, if you're not, that's cool too.